These are water lily beetles. They hop from one water lily to the other using the strange mode of flight. I was so excited when I saw this thing, I immediately caught a few of these beetles. I got them home and I mounted them on a dinner plate. And I happened to have a camera and I imaged for the first time what it looks like. And that's really what opened up this whole sense of wonder. Here is an insect that has the capacity to really control its trajectories in locomotion at half a meter per second without ever detaching from the water surface. The beetle actually behaves as though it's on a pogo stick in water. Water attaches the beetle to the surface at specific points on its legs and it behaves like a spring. When the beetle tries to move off the surface, water pulls it back down and when the beetle might sink, the water actually buoys it back up. This is the kind of bounciness that actually allows it to adjust its position continuously and remain on the surface. This tiny creature at its scale perceives the world and the environment and the forces so differently from what we humans could ever imagine was possible. When you put yourself in the framework of animals that live on this planet, you suddenly realize the way that they solve problems is fundamentally different from how you and I would think about solving an engineering problem. For example, a little drop of water between your two hands, you have the capacity to break free from those hands. When you are that small, you actually cannot generate enough forces to even get yourself off from a little surface of water. Nature is trying to solve all these possible problems in such a creative way that's far beyond our imagination. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.